Welcome, Manny Collins here for Imagine Crafts. Today we'll be creating this fall treat bag. Before we start our project, I thought I'd share how I swatch out my inks and markers. I use waffle flower color combos for ink pads, stamp and die set. I went ahead and stamped and die cut my swatch card. I'm gonna start with the ink pad. We, today we're swatching out Memento and Tangelo. I'm gonna ink up my stamp and stamp it in the position one of my swatch card. Now for slot two, I'm going to ink up my stamp again. I'm going to stamp it off once onto a piece of uh, scrap paper and I'm going to stamp it in slot two. This will give me a second generation um, image. Means my ink is slightly lighter than the first one. It's less saturated. We'll do the same thing for our marker. First, let me close my ink and get it out of our way. I'm going to use the brush tip end of my marker. I'm just going to scribble a little bit straight onto the slot number three. Now, as we all know, memento markers and inks are water soluble. So to get this, to show this, I'm going to scribble a little bit of my marker onto my stamp block, and I'm going to pick it up with some watercolor pen and put it into slot number three right next to the scribble part. Now I have the same effect I had with my um, ink pad. So I have a saturated and less saturated for both. We're gonna be using the te that technique today in our project. For our project, we'll need a burlap bag, which you can find at your local craft store. And I'm gonna place a little treat in it right away so I don't forget to do it. And I went ahead and stamped some uh, my leaves and pumpkins ahead of time. I also stamped my sentiment, which I um, heat embossed with our gold embossing powder. It, said, it reads, Happy Fall. Our leaves, I went ahead and stamped and colored them using the same technique we did earlier. And I used my memento markers to do so. So I'll bring out um, the colors here in a second. For our green leaf, we used <clears throat> Pistachio, Toffee Crunch, and a cantaloupe. I'm sorry, for our red leaf, we use Rhubarb Stark and Rich Cocoa. And for our green leaf, we're going to use Cottage Ivy. Excuse me. And we're going to color the green leaf together. So I'm going to bring in a um, stamp block which I'll swatch off my marker onto, and I'll pick up with my water, uh, watercolor pen. But before I do that, I'm gonna go over the lines of my leaf. That'll give me a darker, uh, saturated section of my leaf. The leaves come from Pretty Pink Posh Giving Thanks stamp set. And I'm also gonna use um, <clears throat> the Tangelo in this leaf. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go around, outline some of the sections of the leaf and then scribble some onto my block. So here's my watercolor pen and I'm going to pick up some of this green, the cottage ivy, I'm watering it down, and I'm just going to color in the sections that I want with the green in. And I'm not worried if the a yellow mixes with it because that's what happens with fall leaves. They, not the yellow, the orange, sorry about that. They tend to change colors. So now I'm going to go ahead and with the tangelo. And the sections that I did with the marker directly to the paper remain a darker so they give now a different tone to the leaf. So we have a darker section and a dark and a lighter. If you have too much water, just dab any of it up with a paper towel and repeat the process. I just want to add a little more green to darken it a bit. So there is our leaf and we'll cut this in a moment once it dries. Now we're going to bring in our pumpkins. For our pumpkins we're going to try something fun and different. I'm going to use one of the stamps from the Waffle Flower stamp set and I'm just going to go ahead and stamp 
the ink directly onto our cardstock. So I'm using this little square here. I'm going to bring in the Tangelo, in, uh, Memento ink in Tangelo. I'm going to ink up my little stamp and stamp it and stamp it directly onto my cardstock. Next, I'm cleaning off my stamp real quick. And next I'll bring in Versa Magic and Pumpkin Spice. I'm going to do the same thing, ink it up and stamp it onto our piece of cardstock. Now I'll get this closed and I'm going to go ahead and bring in the outline stamps of the pumpkins. And I'm going to use my VersaFine and Onyx Black ink. I'm going to ink up my pumpkins. There's two of them. One is slightly larger or actually a little wider than the other. And I, the leaves and pumpkins, like I said, come from the Pretty Pink Posh um, Give Thanks stamp set. All right, so I'm inking up my uh, pumpkin here and I'm just going to stamp it right on top of that little swatched area. So you can use your swatch stamps to um, basically color your other stamps with them. And I'm repeating the process on the other swatch. Now for our little stems, I'm going to bring in the um, Toffee Crunch. Nope. Yes, the Toffee Crunch. I was thinking of doing it in green, then I changed my mind. The Toffee Crunch Memento Marker, and I'm going to color the stem in. And yes, I'm layering it right on top of the orange, and that's okay. Our, the inks layer beautifully. Now, all that's left is to cut these out. Let me show you up close. Let me get this camera to focus. So you see how you have two different color pumpkins now. The little stems are colored. There's no orange showing through. And you have nice coverage. Okay, so now we have to fussy cut our pumpkins and our leaf out. So we can continue with our project. Oh, I'm going to bring in, I'm sorry, the Memento... Uh, ink in Tangelo and I'm just going to add some flick marks to my pumpkin here to give it a little more dimension. I'm just going from the top flicking it down towards the bottom and then from the bottom flicking it up towards the top leaving the center untouched and that will create a nice little highlight. I also go over the stamp lines just to give a little more dimension. Okay, so now for our uh, pumpkin spice one, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna use the toffee crunch on it because it is a little bit more of a brown color. It, it, it's orange, but it tends to go a little more brown. I'm gonna do the same thing. Repeat the process. So now our pumpkins look like two different, distinct colors. And this also adds a nice variety. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and fussy cut our leaf out. And this is a simple shape, quick and easy to cut out. Of course, if you have the dies for this set, you can use that. And we're gonna do the pumpkins really quick as well. I'm not gonna cut the little vine on the pumpkin. It's not necessary for this project. However, if you would like to cut it out, by all means do so. I just think it would be a little too time consuming for the quick project. This would be a cute hostess gift or a place um, marker on your table. You can add um, happy fall and then write the person's name or add a little tag with the person's name. Perfect for a Thanksgiving table or all fall, all fall season. We're almost done here with our other pumpkin. 
and then we'll start decorating our little bag. So now we have all our components. We have some leaves and our pumpkin, as well as our sentiment. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tie our burlap bag clothes. I'm just going to do a simple bow. Now these burlap bags do not come with the tie here. Um, so I added some of this jute tw uh, twine here to close my, my bag. Doing a little bow, adjusting my bow, and then I'll trim the ends here in a moment. For my sentiment, I'm going to add some foam adhesive to the back. I'll add a few pieces here because I wanted to add a little dimension and then I'll tuck our leaves just underneath that sentiment. Now I have all the products that I use listed in the description box below. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in our Imagine Crafts On Point Glue to adhere our leaves since I'm adhering this to fabric. I'm just going to run a little bit of glue and start placing our leaves. I want to fan them out, so to speak. So I'm going to put one on each end and I'm reserving the uh, reddish colored one for the center. I'm going to add my sentiment and since the glue takes a little bit to dry you'll have some time to make adjustments if needed. And I realized I want my leaves to stick out a little bit more so I just move them over and now I'm going to add my red leaf to the center just tucking it under our sentiment and our pumpkins will go in between our leaves. Same thing, I'm adding a little bit of on point glue and adhering it. I want to make sure that the stems go on either side of the word fall. And I realize my sentiment is a little crooked, so I, fit, I adjust it. And just layering them creating a little cluster and I apparently had on point glue on my finger so my pumpkin adhered to my finger first adjust my leaf and there we go so now I'm going to trim off the excess of these um, strings here and our project is complete how fun is that? You can fill it with more goodies. I just did a quick one just to show you um, for the project today. Here's a close-up so you can see the sentiment when it's done in the gold and our pumpkins. So let's go over some of the products we use. We use the Memento ink in Tangelo for some magic ink in Pumpkin Spice, for some fine ink in Onyx Black, and our Memento markers in a variety of colors. We use the Pretty Pink Posh um, stamp set and the Waffle Flowers um, Color Combos for Ink Pads stamp and die set. I hope you found some inspiration today. Please subscribe to our channel.